Now we are the word from Pastor. Today we will hear the word in Genesis chapter 28. Genesis 28 from verse 10. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted up on a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took off the stones of the, that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in, the, in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, the ladder set up on the earth and the top of, top of it reached to heaven. And behold, an angel of the Lord ascending and descending on it. And it, behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land wherein whereon uh, thou li liest and to thee will I give it and to thy seed and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth and thou shalt spread, ab spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south and in thee and thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed and behold I am with thee and will keep thee in the places whither thou goest and will bring thee again into the land for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken unto thee of when I was in missionary school, we had to sleep 10 p.m. You had to wake up at 6 uh, a.m. in the morning. From 10 p.m. and until 6 a.m. in the morning, sleeping that long it was such a suffering for me. So I would sleep at 4 a.m. in the morning, and I would wake up early in the morning, and for about, for about two hours, I would have prayer, praying time, personal praying time, and I was so thankful to God. Although there are many problems and difficulties that I was going through, and sometimes you let us down, but when we meet God, I can see how God was giving me this new strength. And when when the when the when temperature was going becoming warmer, I would go down to into the shadow and for. 4 p.m., 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., I would have prayer time. And I had many problems and difficulties in my life, but God gave me hope in my heart. And in Apkoktong, there was a bamboo, bamboo field. And I having that moment with God, I could meet God in my heart. And the, the moment to meet Him with God in prayer, it really gave me strength in my heart. And although I had many difficulties in my life in front of me and I had a hard time, sometimes I was hungry, but as I prayed to God, God that I met in my heart, I could feel His love. And that really gave me strength in my heart. When I was in Changpali, once I almost, I almost, well, I was really afraid that I may freeze to death. But as I prayed, Sometimes gangsters, they came in, they insulted me, and I was so angry, and I had to cry, I cried. But even that day, I prayed to God. It was, it was about, and that day too, I woke up early, and I prayed for two hours, and that prayer time was so gracious to me, so graceful to me. When I went to the army, when I was in telecommunication center, I was seat class 300 and, 11 in each room there were about 20 people so 20 people were receiving training and we have uh, night duty the first uh, first shift is from mid from 10 to 12 from mid to midnight second shift from midnight to 2 in the morning third shift from 2 to 4 fourth shift from 4 to 6 so every 5 days i would be i would be a uh, night duty but i told them that every day i want to be i want to do the night duty but give me the last shift and last shift was from 4 to 6 and I would wake up at 4 to 6 and I would pray and how would I, I would have the prayer time and re, I would read the Bible. And although I had many problems in my life, if I see only the problems and that was difficult, but when I see God, it was no longer a problem. When he, when he came to Kim Chun, our room was taken, then I prayed too. And as I prayed, I met the pre I met the hope of God. And when we, went, when we were in Daegu, because we didn't have you know, provision time to time, I would close the door and I would pray alone in, the, in my room. And as I pray, God was in my heart. If there's only difficulties and if the Lord is not around, that would be a that would be a difficult difficulty for me. But when I met God in my prayer, I had this faith in me that oh God will help me, He will let me out. And as this faith occurred in my heart, 
that gave me strength to overcome all the problems. Jacob, after receiving the blessings of God, Esau tried to kill Jacob, and he went to Baden Aram to flee from Esau. And he, as, he was la- as he was fleeing, he, the sun set, and he was slipping in one place. You know, he was afraid that some you know, wild animals may come and you know, attack him. That's when Jacob, in his dream, he's, he met God. Jacob, and I'm your, your grandpa Abraham and your father Isaac, I'm your God too. Wherever you go, you will be as many as the dust, and you will be, they will be every, everywhere on the surface of the earth. And all the people of the earth will be blessed through your descendants. Whatever you go, I'll protect you. I will lead you, and you will come back to this land. Until I've accomplished what I've promised you, I will not depart from you, he says. So he was lying on the field. He didn't know what was going to happen when he goes to Baton Aram. He didn't know what was uh, waiting for him. But in his dream, God appeared, and there was this ladder set up, and just were coming up and down. Why did they keep going up and down? So they were going up with our problems, and he would report it to God, so it would be solved, he would come back down, he would go back up. When I was in Padong, I could feel it. In the, mor- in the night, there were so many problems, but in the morning, when after my prayer, there was no more problems in my heart. And so in my heart, to Jacob, there was di- di- Jacob had difficulties and hardships, but here God says, your descendant will be as many as the dust on the earth, and they will be to the east and west and south and north. If Jacob dies, then that will not be accomplished. And all the nations of the earth will be blessed through your descendant. So he was receiving this kind of promise from God. So just a little while ago, he was fleeing from Esau, his brother. He didn't know what was going to happen, but God was with him. Jacob departed from Batan Aram. His uncle was fo- uh, following, uh, pursuing him, but God was with him. When Esau was trying to meet Esau, he had re- he wrestled with with God. And God gave him gave him strength. And when D- when Dina was going when Dina was raped when they were going through that difficulties, he killed all the people of Shechem. And if he was attacked by the people around him, he they could have he could have be, he could have been through difficulties. But he had hope in his heart. So tonight as well in the afternoon we had prayer time with our pastors. And these days I'm having prayer time with our pastors. And we ha- we are going through difficulties. Things are difficult when we only see the problems but not God. No matter how difficult things may be, if we are with God, there is nothing that would matter. Nothing would matter in our heart, right? So as we pray before God, when I was in Tegu, many times I had no more provisions. I was I was running out of food. But after Sunday evening, I didn't want it to go home. I didn't have, you know, charcoal. I didn't have food in the house. But a little while after, I met one sister in Bucheon. She gave me one check in, the, in an envelope. When I opened it at home, it was a check. And in the letter, in the, in the envelope, she wrote a letter that she was going to Daesung Hyogo in high school. But then I, you were going through many difficulties. I wanted to help you, but then I couldn't. I couldn't help you because I myself was too poor. We only ate rice and soy sauce. We didn't even have a penny. And I really wanted to give you this. And he put this check and in the letter in the envelope. He had put this letter. So then we went through many difficulties. But before God, we prayed to God. As we prayed. As we pray for some time, we run, we run out of charcoal, we run out of food, we're going through difficulties and hardship. That's what we would think. But when I talked to, I when I felt like I was talking to God face to face, if I'm with God, nothing matters. It doesn't matter. Having no food, that that, that doesn't matter. When in Kimchan we lost our house. Because the house owner, he 
because he he, he had a debt and he he gave he gave up his house and we had to move out of the house but we had no money to rent another house one day we one day we pray to god and when woke up in the morning in my heart I felt as if God was giving me the heart that, that go and look for a house. So near our house, there was another building, which was two stories, which was good. And I didn't have, I didn't have $10 then with me, but they would ask, they would ask, uh, they would ask 20, uh, $200, $200 for it. And I had to resolve the, resolve the rent problem. And that morning too, I had morning prayer, morning prayer, and as I prayed, I felt as if God was telling me in my heart, how was the house that you sold the other day? Oh, the building was so good, but it must have been sold by now. You know, it's a good place to, you know, have the, uh, teach, you know, hairdressing or like, f any, there, it's good. But later, when I, when I went there later, it was, it was not still sold. So I went there again, and later I saw, I went to see the house owner and I felt that God I felt as if God was giving me the house. And in the night I went to the house and I met the owner. It was it was a man who was in his early 50s. He was a really generous looking man. And I presented myself to him that I'm a man of God I came here to preach the gospel but one of the citizens of the city he, tr he cheated he cheated on me and he took my money and he went he ran away but while I'm praying God gave me this heart in me that he was going to give me this building but I have no money actually but if you want, if you could give me this build house I would be really happy how dare you I could I say that but the reason why I could say that was because God gave me this heart in me that He was going to give me this building in my heart. That's why I could say that. And for a while, He it, it, it thought about it. And then, He said, He said, I'm the elder of Chija Church in Chija Dong. By the roadside, God gave me such a good house. But if if the man of God is going to use it, how can I stop you from using using this building? He said, it was like a dream to me. If I have no God in my heart, I cannot see such a thing. But no matter how big the problem may be, but if it's if God is with me, then it doesn't matter. But if I hold on to it, then I'll, that'll be a problem. Yeah, that's it. If I clo if I'm close to God, I if I have the heart that God will give me this building, I felt so moved in my heart. Then, the daughter of the owner was playing a hymn through with his piano, and I felt like as though I was in heaven. We talked a lot, and I I stood back up, and that elder told me. Do you want to come empty-handed or could you prepare at least something? You can prepare at least anything. And I told him that I'm going to prepare $80, $80, $80. And as soon as I say that, I was shocked because I, sh I was shocked that I said that. I didn't have any money. How could I pay $80? How could I prepare $80, I thought. I went to meet the manager of the bank that this uh, Saturday I'm gonna move out so you can take you can take back this house and the manager of the bank said I'm gonna run for uh, poly members of the parliament but this is just to help you and he put he took out from his safe uh, an envelope and he gave it to me and later I checked it was a thousand one the ten ten dollar and I was very thankful before God that day because last time and later I, in order to rent a house, uh, because the c contract was not done, so I had to get my money back. But I couldn't, because the, the person who rent the money from me, he had a lot of debt. So when I went to the house, she told me to take the, the, the closet. So I thought I shouldn't maybe take anything about from them, and I just forgot about it. But then the lady, she took, she brought $30. 
And with that money, we, we got now $40. And again, there was someone that I knew, and she had $20 that she, she had, and she said, uh, if you can, if, if you can uh, pay me back, you can pay me back. Otherwise, you can use it. So, $40, $20, $20, it became $70. I was so thankful to God. So, while I was at home, I collect, I tried to find, collect all the money from the brothers and sisters. And that was about 8000 won. And we got a total of $80. $80. So when you were in difficulties, so when you think when you say oh, it's difficult, it's so hard. It means you are far from God. If you're closer, if you are close to the Lord, your problem with Jesus's problem, right? You know, you are, if you're next to a, if you have a child, and if the father is next to the child, then. There will be no problem, but if the father is far away from the child, then that will be a problem. So when you're far away from the Lord, that's, it becomes a problem. But if the Lord is closer to you than the problem, then the problem wouldn't matter. I would wake up in the morning, I would pray. And while I'm praying, you know, because before I used to be, because nowadays, we don't have much time as we are busy, but nowadays I'm, I was trying to have prayer time with our members of our brothers and uh, with our pastors and as I prayed I spoke out I speeded out my heart and I could feel in my heart that God was close to me and when I feel that if God is with me what what problem do I have when I was in Apkokdong when I was in Changpali when I went to the army Every day I would wake up from four to from four to six. I would meet God in the Word. And there was also upper room in Kimcheon too. If you go there, if the roof room is so small, you cannot stand straight, but you have to crawl. So while I pray there, each time whenever I have a problem, I got this faith in me in my heart, and I could see how God was working in my life. There are people who are going through difficulties and people's heart dies and fades away. It's because their heart is far away from the Lord. But as we pray, as we talk to God in our heart, as we face the Word of God, nothing would matter. When, Arab, when, when Jacob was in Patan Aram, he departed from his uh, older brother and he came to Batan Aram and the son said <laughs> he was afraid because, because any animal can come at any moment and he, may, we don't know, he didn't know what was going to happen he was afraid but then God appeared in his dream there was a ladder place and the angels were coming up and down the angels that was going up they would go report their problems to the Lord and they would come back down when they received the solution. And it was like God, it was God say, speak, saying to Jacob, what did he say? The Lord said, I'm the Lord, I'm the God of your of grand, grandfather, Jake, uh, Abraham and your father Isaac and I'll give this descendant where you're lying unto your descendants. So in verse 14 it says, your descendant will be as many as will, uh, to the east and to the west and to the north and to the south. And this all, all nation will be blessed through your descendants. So this was such an amazing story. He did, they didn't know what was waiting for him. He didn't know what was going to happen there. But there... God says, wherever you go, I'll be with you. I will not depart from you. And what does it say next is, your descendant will be as many as, as many as the dust on the earth. And as I read this Bible, God was accomplishing this for us. Uh, uh, my descendant will be as many as the dust and will, they, will be, uh, they, will be, they will cover East, West, North, South. 
Korea is on the south, on the far east, on the extreme east. That's why it's not easy to come to Korea because it's, it's far from all countries. So from east to west and north and south, you'll be spread out throughout the whole country. If you go a little toward the north, there is South America, North America, you have South America, Canada, and to the west. If you go, keep going to if you keep going to the west, you have Southeast Asia, you have Africa too, and you and your children will be as many as the as many as the dust. In year 2020, God was going to accomplish this work. Your descendant will be as many as the dust on the earth. And the whole people will be blessed through your descendant. And this is what God, want, God was going to accomplish. He's, he's accomplishing it now. And we are so, I was so thankful that God was actually accomplishing it this year. I had always be, I thought I was going to be cursed all the time with dozen people in my chapel. But God really blessed us and you can see how God was, uh, this year 2020 was an accomplishing year. And as the Bible says, as it says, thou shalt be spread on around broad to the west and east and to the north and to the south, and thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. In Oceania, in in islands in, in the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean. So as we preach this gospel, we are blessed. And shall all the families of the earth be blessed through that in thy seed as we are hearing this message from that God said to Jacob I felt as if it was the word that God spoke to our mission and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south and in thee and in thy, in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed Everyone, God, in order to let you preach this gospel, God is giving us this kind of promise. He says, it says in verse 14, And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt, be sp thy shalt, thou shalt spread abroad to the east and to the north and to the, west, to the north and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. When I hear the stories from uh, Pastor O, I'm so surprised. Same thing in the Southeast Asia, same thing in Africa, North America, South America. In, in the whole world, we have our, we have our, our churches, we have, we have our 800 churches all around the world. Now we are not by ourselves. There are many newly saved pastors who want to work with us. I'm so thankful for His promise that He gave us. Year 2021, it's closed now. Year 2020, for this new year, you know, if you have many words in your heart, God may seem so blur in your eyes, but if you pray to God and if you feel His heart, you may feel close to God. You would feel it in your hearts. When we sent out our missionary in Brazil, we they didn't know any, how to speak Portuguese. We just sent them there. And when they, we sent our uh, missionary to Costa Rica, and when people saw our missionaries, they said, oh, "We have our there. How can you do missionary like this?" And all other missionaries, they came all prepared. But we went there, although we are not prepared, although we are lacking. But because God was with us, wherever we go. We could see how God was filling up and God was letting us bear this fruit through the gospel. Now, today, just like Jacob, he was living in the, his house, but when he went to Batan Aram, he didn't know what was waiting for him ahead, but he thought about this God. And when you heard this word from God, he was so thankful. And God said this to Jacob, 
and to all of to all of your all of you missionaries, he's saying the same thing to each and every one of you. Just as in as the Bible says right here, God accomplished this word year 2020, and He's going to accomplish it even greater in year 21, so that the whole world will be saved through us, and I'll believe that this great work will occur in our lives. For the past year, among Jews, there must be some. There must have been people who have been through difficulties because of Corona, and you couldn't meet people properly, so you must have been difficulties because you had to stay in the house. So it must have been difficult for you. In Dominican Republic, when I hear the when I hear what had happened in our, to our missionary in Dominican Republic, he didn't he didn't really know what had, what he could do. But when I hear how God helped him, this is so amazing. And God who worked in each country, this is so amazing to hear how God worked through us. It's true. Each time we had difficulties and there was always just a hardship in our lives. But ne never the problem ended as a pro problem. But through us, many people changed. And we could see how they were blessed through us. Just as the promise that God gave Jacob, God gave us the same promise today through us. Just as he said, your descendant will be like the dust of the earth. And when I see what had happened, many things happened like the dust. In Brazil, in Argentina, in Mexico, in the small co. God worked there still. And I'm so thankful that God worked through us. And this new year as well with this promise in God, let us not see the problem, but having faith in the promise in our ministry, let God work freely and let us live the life of bearing fruit in our lives. God gave us His promise in our heart. Currently, there are many people arising in our mission. They're hearing the God. They're hearing this gospel, and I see how in the Springfield we're training the pastors, and we are studying this Bible. And as we become one-hearted, regardless of denominations, within the within the salvation of Christ, we are being one. We are serving God, and through this. As we think uh, how God is accomplishing His grace and salvation for us, we are so thankful, and I believe that God will accomplish uh, God will accomplish His salvation through us. Please stay healthy and do not think of dying before me. Please live long, and let's work freely for the gospel, and let's see the glory of God through our lives. I hope that happens to you. The missionaries who could not come to be here, may God bless you all. And let Grasha's choir, with, with even more precious songs, let them praise God and give joy to people. This is such a glorious day today, and I, God, I thank God for helping us for the past year. Let us pray. Holy Father God, we cannot touch you, Lord. We cannot fill you with our hands. But when you, when you try to fill, fill you and learn, fill your heart through the Word, we can see you and experience you through our hearts. In our mission, in 1976, we started our missionary school. In, in 1989, through your grace, we sent our missionaries abroad, and starting from 1990, from 94, we sent our missionaries to Africa. And around the world, we're so thankful to preach this gospel to you, Lord. And whatever we were, although there were difficulties all the time, but when we bow down, when we, when we, when we, confess our hearts when we speed out of our heart we could experience you Lord in our hearts and through that God we're able to overcome everything and we could see how you're opening the God wait for way for us to wait for us to preach this gospel around the world because of corona it's not easy to meet people it's true 
But for the past year 2020, we thank you for saving the lives of many lives of many people around the world. And as you said, let the whole people be blessed through you, through your descendant. And just like that, this is amazing to see God working through our pastors and missionaries. I'm so thankful. For year 2020, now let us open our eyes wide. And not only the problems that we see in front of us, but please protect us from that. And let us behold God who is with us. Let us be one hearted with you, Lord. And in our lives, let us not let us not uh, let, let, let us go let go of the problems let us be filled, filled up with the gospel let us experience this in our lives among missionaries there are still uh, pastors who are not used to the language who are not good at speaking who are still going through d difficulties but who are still preaching this gospel we are so grateful that we have that kind of missionaries in us among us and also as they root down in this mission as the church is built Every year through the camp, our missionaries are preaching the gospel and saving lives of many people. They're all in your eyes, we know. They're all in your 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 eyes. When we are by ourselves, we don't know it well. We may not know it well. But what God is most interested about, we know that they are you, Lord. Because when we meet you in our hearts, when we become one with you, Lord, we know that from then on, then it will be everything will be your problem, not our problem. Let us preach this gospel and let us accomplish your will so that, so that many people would be saved through you, Lord. For the past year, 2020, we, we saw you helping us and we saw how you were guiding us and bestowing his great, your, your grace upon us and those brothers and sisters who are working with us and let their heart be filled up with, you, with the Holy Spirit and let us not see the problem that, that is in front of us but let us gain faith and strength through you Lord and let us preach the gospel with boldness so that the whole world will be filled up with this gospel and let you be glorified and let this mission please you Lord last year Father God there are brothers and sisters there are brothers who left the church but who have rep also repented more than 99 lambs you look f you take more preciously of the lamb that you lost so this has been this had been has been joy for us all although there are still people who could not bring their heart together with us and let them repent and one heartedly let them preach the, preach the gospel and look uh, and work together for this gospel and people through this gospel let people be saved let them become true servant of God in their lives and in the heart of all the brothers and sisters who are supporting this gospel let your great grace be upon them Lord you know that the day of you the, the way the day you were gonna come is close and you have already paid for us there are simply people who are bound by the sin let them preach the gospel and let let people be saved through us Lord among our brothers among our pastors there are pastors who are not physically well there are also if there is there any pastors who have darkness in his heart let him not worry by himself. Let him come before you, Lord, and please be, give him healing. And through your Holy Spirit, through your heart, let him work through your heart, Lord, so that he can overcome all the enemies. And let him, through your blood, let him experience the precious work of your heart, Lord. For the year 2021, this new year be began again in our mission. For year 2021, we know that let us get closer to you, Lord, and through your heart, Lord, let us overcome and let us do the work of saving many people, Lord, and let us let this be joy. Although through many diff difficult situations, there are many pastors who looked up on you, Lord. Although because we don't have faith, sometimes we don't know how to work. There are brothers and sisters who are working this God, work of the gospel. And just as you said to Jacob that you are with him, that your your descendant will be spread 
abroad to the east and to the west and to the north and to the south, just like the word. Please accomplish that word through us, Lord. Just as you said this to Jacob, we believe that this also you also said you also you also said this to us. We thank you for giving us this precious word, Lord, for the rest of our lives. Let our life be given to you, Lord, and please use our lives. In, in, please use our life to save the pe life of many people. Let our brothers and sisters who have, who have been saved in our mission, let them run for the gospel, Lord. For year 2021, we believe that many, many people received forgiveness of sin, and there are many people who are still just calling out the name of the Lord, but let them not dwell in sin, but let them... But thank you for giving us as people with whom we can do the work of the gospel. And we're just thankful that we can do the work of the gospel with our pastors here and our husband and wife and brothers, children. Give them faith so that we could serve the gospel together. Up beyond our brothers and sisters, let your love and precious grace be with upon us everlastingly. In Jesus' name we prayed. Amen.